Art, mm -hmm. why don't we talk about red flags? Ah, that's good. Okay, I think every Western man absolutely needs to know <laughs> yes. when he comes over here and he's going and he meets mm -hmm. his girl face to face, how does he know she's really into him? Versus red flags that she's not into him or she has a hidden agenda, wrong motives, bad yeah. motives. Boy. What that's, would you say? What's the important. biggest red flag for you that's that you've encountered I'll over you, 10 years? I tell you, my experience has been one of the, the very first red flags that I watch for is their attitude and body language towards me. When, on the first meeting? First meeting. Mm -hmm. Do they uh, act like they're really interested? Mm -hmm. Do they act bored? Mm -hmm. uh, do they enter into the conversation? Do they ask you questions? Do they ask questions? About you. Yes. They want to know about you. If all they're doing is answering your questions, if they're looking yeah. Distracted, uh, not uh, showing that they're a real genuine interest by asking questions, you know that it's they're not that in, they're not into you. Yeah, exactly. Would, Either they're not into you, you, or they're not there of their own free will. Volition. They're, yes. they're being paid they to can, be there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because and, as and, we uh, uncovered this letter writing scam, yeah. uh, if you're in your situation, uh, <laughs> Uh, well, you're you're writing to this picture, yep, and then it turns out that it's Igor or whatever. <laughs> yeah. When you finally say, "Oh, I'm coming to the uh, Ukraine to to meet this picture," uh, they say, "Oh, oh, oh, uh -huh. yeah. So they call the picture, the girl in the yep. picture, and say, "Hey, Art's coming to meet you," and she goes, "Well, I don't know this man. <laughs> Send me a photo." And they said, "Oh, I don't." I don't like him, I'm, I don't want to meet with <laughs> yeah, him. Exactly. Then they say, okay, we'll pay you $25, $50, yeah. $100. So she could be there because she's being paid. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I believe that with all my heart. So I'll piggyback on your tip by mm -hmm. saying, guys, don't think so much with your head. Really tap into your heart. Mm -hmm. Feel what you feel. Do you mm -hmm. feel if she's into you? Yeah. Right? That's the first tip, I think. Yeah. Um, and, and red flag. Okay, I'll I throw agree. one in. Um, Red flag for me was um, if they're picking the most expensive restaurant in town. Yeah. Oh, God. That's common. <laughs> yeah. Because in my experience, the good girls, the ones that are serious, they're actually quite conservative and respectful about money. And they know money's tight and it is for them and they don't assume you're rich. And so they'll, take you, they'll, they'll suggest a modest restaurant. I agree. I have a story about that one that just uh, illustrates it nicely. Sure. Uh, I met a, uh, this not too long ago, I met uh, a nice young lady, uh, hired an interpreter to come with us. Uh, we spent an hour just getting acquainted and then uh, she had to leave, I had to leave. So uh, I, uh, she was heading home and actually we just went to a coffee shop and had tea and I asked, do you want to eat anything? No, 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 just tea. And so we had tea on the way home. I said, okay, uh, I'd like to buy a, pay a taxi for you to go take you home. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, no, I'll take the bus. I'm not going to take any money from you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't mind telling you that was mm -hmm. a real refreshing. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. That, yeah. that, that that's, She's got good intentions, honorable yeah. intentions. Mm -hmm. uh, another one for me is if on the first date or even the second date, she wants to go shopping. <laughs> I asked, what do you want to do tonight? She said, oh, karaoke, I love to sing. Oh, you know, I don't have good shoes for karaoke. And then we go shopping, I buy her shoes. And then she says, you know, uh, I'm in pants. I really should have a, a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, I said, ah, oh, no. <laughs> it's going the wrong way. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, but yeah, and I've asked a lot of ladies. Um, a good lady doesn't ask for gifts. Go shopping right away. Uh, so that's definitely a red flag. Right. Uh, I was just trying to think of uh, some other real clear red flags. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, one that uh, I've had experience with uh, was a red flag that uh, she, the, the actual lady that I was conversing with showed up. And uh, she absolutely had no dialogue with me. For three hours, I talked to the interpreter. And she never said a word the whole time. It was just like she was mute. I hey, Greg. Probably. I, I, at the end of the three hours, I was paying the interpreter, and I said, I told her, what's going on here? This woman never probably said a hundred words in three hours. Well, she's just shy. Mm -hmm. 
I just, after all this time of us getting acquainted, and she sh I, show, I come all the way here to meet her, and you're telling me she's shy? Mm -hmm. I said, I don't think she's the one been writing letters to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she's just shy. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a double red flag. Well, I, I it was it. Shy yeah. and a red flag that it's not the girl that you've been corresponding to. I guarantee it. Yeah. And then mm. the, on the heels of that, the next day, this particular agency, of course, called me and said, well, she was just really shy, but we have other girls that we can introduce you to that... ka, -ching, ka -ching. Yeah, yeah, so... You get some more money I just told them, you know, I think not, thank you very much. <laughs> and you know, uh, I'll chime into that and say it's... It's, a, it's an area of, of scams where the interpreter, and this is a red flag, when the interpreter, like you say, is talking with the lady a lot and more than you, and if you read the body language, um, I've been told by interpreters mm -hmm. that sometimes they're in cahoots. So they want to keep the meter running, and because it's 20 bucks an hour, which is big money in the Ukraine, yeah. that mm -hmm. you're paying for the interpreter, and the lady, the, the girl, mm -hmm. gets a cut of that. She gets a commission. Um, she can be saying things about you behind your back kind of thing, like, I don't like this guy, he's, for example, I've been told by interpreters, uh, a common one is, this man is old and what is he thinking that he wants to be with me? Right. You know, he's a dirty old man kind of thing. Yeah. I've, I've, I've had interpreters tell me that. So they can be talking about you behind your back in cahoots. In Russian, and you can't, Russian, you'd have no yeah, idea. You know, What's going on? But 70% of communication is body language. So if you watch the body language, Same you thing. can look for a red flag. Very easily. Uh, that's the, in a meeting, that's the first thing I look for, mm -hmm. first things I look for. Yeah. Uh, because if they're really, truly interested in you, like anywhere else, they're going to be looking at you. Yeah. They're going to be listening to you. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're going to be asking questions. Inquisitive. They're going to be inquisitive about you. And maybe you said, well, well, tell me more about your work. Or tell me about your children. Or they're going to just have basic questions. They're going to, yeah. I mean, like you would with anyone. Exactly. And if they don't do that, you've uh, struck out. Do you think it's okay to be direct with them in the meetings? Are the Ukrainian ladies open to being direct and and opening asking direct questions in the meeting? What do you think? This uh, now we're uh, now talking about serious women. Talking about we're not women. talking about the rest of them. We're talking yeah. about women. The that serious we, basket that's 10%, the, not the 90% yeah, bad Yeah, exactly. Basket. The 90% bad basket. We're not talking about that. Bad. We're talking about the 10% with good, wholesome um, intentions looking for love and marriage. Absolutely 100%. Want to be direct. Be direct. They These women are direct. Cut to the chase. They will. They will answer you mm -hmm. directly. And they will ask you. And they will. <laughs> boy, they Full will. Questions. Once it starts, get ready because uh -huh. they'll be. Uh, they'll be hitting you with everything from religion to politics to yeah. on and on. Now, there's some things you don't want to uh, culturally don't want to approach. Just like most women, uh, leave the sex talk out. Don't 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 even go there. Uh, we're not, it's, it's it's private and it's, it's uh, too soon. It's distasteful to them. Yes. They'll immediately it's take rude. you. And they don't like rude men. They don't. Don't immediately start asking what their preferences are and all that stuff because they will immediately peg you as a pervert, and that's the end of it. I can't even believe some Western men do that. But Amazing. Apparently, they do. I've heard oh. the stories from mm -hmm. many people. Very distasteful. So, uh, but don't be afraid to ask relationship questions. Yes. They want to know too. They really do. They want to know: Is this man going to be a future potential? mate for me or is he just playing around and I want to so you get serious with them ask them hard questions ask them how they feel about leaving Ukraine ask them what are they looking for in a man what's important to you uh, and and you know let them answer and then I'll ask you a question and and uh, I think that's a great tip you just gave yeah. you ask about them make the conversation oh, about absolutely them. Mm -hmm. Because she will ask about you too mm -hmm. if she's interested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's a great way to open up the conversation by talking tremendous. about them. And, and I'll and I'll tell you what she how she responds to this is my experience, what she mm -hmm. sees or hears. She doesn't hear the question. She doesn't hear uh, see what you're really asking. What she sees, you're serious. Mm -hmm. She hears mm -hmm. he's serious mm -hmm. in the body language. Well, the question he's just asking personal questions, relationship questions. She's thinking. Ah, mm -hmm. he's serious about me. Mm -hmm. Because if you're just asking her what color of 
clothes she likes or how what kind of flowers she likes or you know that kind of stuff it's like mm-hmm. boring yeah and she's gonna go oh, I'm not so sure this guy's are you start asking those other questions mm-hmm. but they expect you to show up with something in your hand yeah even if it's just a, buy some roses a, a three chalk yeah roses white roses don't buy red roses right off the bat that's too intimate Unless That's you, interesting because I always buy I red know, roses. I uh, know, but if you have a relationship with them, buy uh-huh. red roses. If you three red roses, is if, if I buy it, and that's uh-huh. they'll they will not say a word. They'll be happy as as they can be. But appropriate would be white, white. roses. Hey, it's Joe here. How are you doing? Listen, I wanted to talk to you openly and personally for a moment here. Maybe you're like I was, divorced two times and just really um, distraught and given up on ever finding your other half, a soulmate, your best friend, somebody that's amazing, smart, sexy, talented, educated woman that will rock your world in more ways than you can imagine. I've found that and I wish you to find that. I fervently believe the best women, the best wives are in the Ukraine here. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.